What's going on guys? My name is Noah and this is Broken Arrow Bison. The plan is today is we're going to go up to the farm store and we're going to set up a water system, just a temporary uh, small water trough for these guys. This creek here, um, it's running right now. It is spring fed, but we have uh, the neighbor's pond um, is a dam on it and it tends to slow down given the seasons. So it's, it is a small trickle depending upon the time of the year. And just a fail safe, I wanna be able to set up a small water trough uh, for them in case the spring dries up during the spring. And uh, we'll get that going today and follow me along. Walmart here real quick and see if those hoses are any cheaper. That's what I want. That's what I need, one of these here. One of those big round ones. But uh, we might go with one of these small ones for now. And uh, we just need a backup really for that spring. We don't really need it overkill. Down the road we'll set up some different troughs in the different pastures. All right, so they've got quite a few options here. The ones up on top here are going to be brass fittings uh, for like these ball valves, uh, the float valves. Uh, those are the, going to be the better option, but from what we are doing today, we just need a temporary trough set up. This is going to be the cheapest option, 13 bucks, automatic float valve. You can see what it does here. It's got the float in, in the uh, top of the trough, comes up, kicks on with the hose, pretty simple so I think we'll go with this today and uh, we'll be using those on future troughs that are going to be uh, set up in the paddocks so that'll be on a later date better get some chicken feed while we're at the farm store it's chick days And now we need a split off from the house. Uh, this one right here. I'll show you something. These were uh, in the farm store's parking lot. This is a regular cattle squeeze chute. And when I first got into Buffalo, I almost bought one of these and I was really glad I did not. Um, thing about these are they are shorter. Um, most of the time they're a little bit narrower, uh, not always, but one of the big, big things is this is a, you can see an automatic uh, catching system and what this does is the cow comes through, pushes on that gate and that comes down and, and squeezes and uh, catches their, their head or right behind their head, their neck. But buffalo are so fast that a lot of times they'll either jump all the way through that or they will uh, get their hips caught and get kind of mangled up. So you really need either a buffalo squeeze chute or you need a little bit oversized uh, like a bull squeeze chute. Uh, Dusty with Cross Timbers Bison, he has a bull squeeze chute and it works really well for him. So I just thought that was something that was interesting and worth showing you guys. Time to head home.
Okay, so we're back and we're going to be setting up that trough. We're gonna put it right down in here. Uh, that's gonna be the top of that pasture that uh, the buffalo are gonna be in. If you can see way down in there, those that's actually where the buffalo are. So we're gonna run a hose down to the top of this pasture here and just set that trough up temporary. up just deciding to use one of the uh, cattle troughs I had laying around I really couldn't decide what I wanted to buy uh, just because it's a temporary setup later down the road it's gonna be completely different so this is just a fail safe so just decided to use this for now and this uh, automatic float valve will work because this does not have uh, all my parts coming out uh, this does not have a drain so the float wouldn't work uh, the one that actually has a, a ball valve tied onto it wouldn't work on this one unless I drilled a hole so this one will work that I can uh, attach it to the top makes me feel a whole lot better. Like I said, this is just a temporary setup. I've got a garden hose running to it. You might be able to hear it's still uh, filling up. It's almost there. This is just gonna be an emergency. We've got that creek down there, but it really is kind of a dry creek. It, it's spring fed, like I said, but it really doesn't, I can't rely on it all year long. The plan eventually, we got a pond all the way down in that field. We're gonna run a, one inch PVC line. Uh, it's like an irrigation line all the way up this hill. It's about a half mile run. And we're gonna run it all the way up this hill and then we're gonna tee off into all these pastures. We're gonna make all these different paddocks and we're gonna tee off and then make uh, troughs for each paddock. So that's the permanent uh, fix. But for now, we have this cattle trough with the water and that makes me feel a whole lot better. That way, if that creek dries up uh, for any reason, I'm gone for a weekend or something like that, and it dries up, there's really not very many big pools in there, so it could really dry up pretty quick. Uh, so right now they're drinking off that, which is good. We're gonna let them out here shortly, um, but now they have an emergency water setup. So we uh, appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, one question that I wanted to ask you guys is I'm thinking about doing some live uh, footage of the farm. Um, we want to know from you guys if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, some of the 
thought process I've had was maybe Saturday mornings um, somewhere around 9 10 o'clock in the morning and do it either once a week or once a month or something like that so please leave a comment down below let me know if you would like to see something like that we would just do some footage of the Buffalo and I'd be able to answer some of you guys's questions and uh, just kind of show you guys a little bit more of the farm in a live setting just be able to interact with you guys I'd love to be able to do that so leave a comment down below tell us your thoughts hit that subscribe button uh, hit that thumbs up and uh, we will see you next time.